Hey Joe Bros, Old King Live coming to you again for another giveaway episode. What we have on this giveaway episode is, of course, it's going to be a beater giveaway. I mean, normally I'll go, you know, give away some beaters and then give away some good, you know, mint on card stuff. Uh, whatever I got extras laying around and whatever I can bundle up together and give back to the community for free. So, hey, free, free shipping, why not? So, as you probably already know, because I've advertised it, whether it be through the video link itself or the pictures, it's uh, it's going to be the beater lot for the file cards. Uh, we got five straight up cut file cards, as well as the one complete file card. Um, well, complete-ish, whatever. And then uh, the three Joes, um, of course, it's going to be the Marauders uh, Spirit, uh, no thumbs, what else is new? uh as well as this and this is actually a pretty mint bazooka um uh tiger force bazooka you just missing an arm i don't know i don't know i picked up at a toy show missing an arm and honestly the one i already had was even minter so armless but near mint bazooka and uh of course half an avac uh pilot um the cobra symbol is actually pretty nice on the front so i mean if you had one that the cobra symbol was kind of whack on Boom, minty replacement. So as yeah, so it's two and well, one more or less complete, one three quarters and one just under half of Joe's uh, full card file back and the five file cards uh, giveaway just for watching this video and uh, leaving a comment down below. Now normally I you know I always have uh, the rules and that is that you have to be subscribed, you have to leave a comment down below. That'll be the entry number that I'll use on random.org to see who wins. And um, what we have right now is I, I'm at 258 subscribers. Uh, let's make this one pretty, not too bad. Let's make it 275. So as long as I hit 275 subscribers and get, say, at least at least 20 entries um, into uh, the you know overall uh, experience, um, I'll do the giveaway. So usually it takes a week or two to hit those numbers and then um, you know I'll you do a giveaway winner episode. Now I'm not chasing winners anymore. It's just a bit too much of a pain in the butt for me. So if you win, uh, be sure to watch the winner video and uh, re you know reach out whether it just be through the YouTube video say hey I won, I'll get a hold of you or something like that or uh, private message me. More than likely I'm on one of the clubs you are in and uh, I'll get your stuff out to you. So the last winner never claimed his stuff. I never heard from him. So if that's you, go check that out and get a hold of me. Or I'm going to put it back into the next draw uh, for the next free stuff. And that was the two Mint on Card Joes. Don't forget. So uh, watch the video. So it's already been too long. Uh, watch the video, subscribe, comment, like, etc. Uh, share it because, you know, I need to hit these numbers so I can pick a winner. And um, I'll talk to you next time. Peace. All right, what's up, Joe Bros? Today, you know what it is. It's another free hand Friday, and what we got today is two boxes. Let me just let me just zoom out a bit here. Uh, you might notice that the one box is freaking ginormous, big ass U-Haul box here. I was like, when did I order a laydown wardrobe box? And then I was like, what is in this? Realized Joe stuff. So that's the big boy. This is the small one. This one just came in, uh, ripped it open, took a preview pick, but I actually haven't got into anything yet. So uh, we'll pull this one out first. It's a smaller amount. Um, both of these are purchases, uh, claiming bid. Actually, I think they're both claim sales. Again, off G.I. Joe Collectors uh, Club.com. I've been really getting my needs met on this site lately, so I haven't really been going to the U.S. sites as much like PX. Mostly because, well, if I can get it in Canadian... Why buy in the U.S.? Um, so, I've been getting hooked up lately. So, that's what you're going to see a lot of lately is, uh, you know, the Canadian guys coming through. So, let's get into this one first. This one was, I think it was just under $100. Well, we already got a, we got a stalker coming out there. Um, ah, why is this bubble wrap stuck in here? There we go. Oh, I kind of forgot there's a 
a little bit of a, I think there's a little bit of a glider in here, so I guess I should do a little, um, a little less forceful, a little more, you know, a little more finesse instead of jamming this sucker out. So let's, let's try to do this. Pulling the camera at the same time is a nightmare. Wish I had a, you know, nice five, six foot tripod so I didn't have to freehand it, but hey, what are you going to do? Oh, I kind of forgot about that. All right, so that is, oh no, there is something still in there. See it? Yeah, there. All right, real deal that time. So what we got here is we got one of these little, oh, holy moly, there's actually dudes in here. Got another one of these little uh, three Joe cases. These things are cute and I really don't remember these when I was a kid. Um, I'm not sure if just because it held only three Joes, it was too too sad for me because I had such a huge collection or what it was, but uh, I bought one of these off of another sale the other week. And honestly, I wasn't super keen on the condition, so I saw this one come up, sticker looked, sticker looked a little nicer. So I thought, why not? It was like four bucks or something, so I'll, uh, I'll buy it. So let's see if we can get into her here. Let's see what the, the magic is. Okay, the magic is we got Mortal Kombat Joes. Um, God, what is it, uh, Shang Tsung or whatever, and I don't know, is that Kano? I don't remember. Um, my Mortal Kombat is seriously outdated. And then we got, uh, what's this, Gung Ho Mega Marine, I believe. Yeah. So we got a few Joes stuffed in here. Let's move them over there. This looks like more Joes, maybe a assortment bag here. S bubbly wrap. So looks like we got, oh, looks like we even got 93 Countdown. So, man, he looks familiar. There's a lot of these, uh, s you know, Space Brigade Joes that I just, I honestly think I have. So many of them use the same kind of body type and, like, color scheme, but I know I don't have the weapons and the helmets. So even if I do have them, you know, it's a, it's a bit of an upgrade. Now, this guy, I almost passed on. I didn't even realize who he was i had to look him up and he actually goes with one of the uh, battle copters so um i'm pretty happy that i went and looked him back up because uh, he was like three bucks and um not someone i see every day a lot of these were guys i don't see a lot um you know mostly the you know 94 i think on this guy um again it's the 90s joes for me that are hard to collect right now because i, I never played with them as a kid so i don't re know who half them are i don't remember them and uh, there's a lot of them, so it's hard to track them all down. Now this stalker, um, he's beat to hell. Uh, not sure if you can tell, but he's missing his... He's actually a little worse than I thought. He's uh, He's got a lot of wear. A lot of wear and tear, but he was only a couple dollars if I remember correctly. And I have two stalkers already. So, um, But if I remember correctly, one of them might have a broken crotch. So really, I was just buying them for that. Um, parts, mostly. So... This is was one of the interesting things, was one of these gliders again. Uh, if you saw one of my other videos, maybe the last one, maybe the one before that, I don't remember. Um, I, I got another one of these um, in the from somebody. And so this is the second one. I believe there's like six of these things. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. I was into those old uh, air gliders you used to buy for a buck and they were star foam. You threw them around until they broke you know, 20 minutes later. So I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying collecting those. So who do we got here? We got a Zap. Zap, 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 85. Um, again, I know these guys were broken thumbs. They were like five bucks each. Uh, mostly, again, just for parts. Uh, the Grunt, especially, even though he, he does come with his backpack, so that's pretty sick. Again, broken thumbs. But um, I'm so mostly after his head, because if uh, another video you might have seen, uh, my Grunt, somebody like, I don't know, shaved his hair off, so... I needed a new head, and then um, Cobra Officers, I mean, I'm sure he's, uh, yeah, the old broken thumbs, uh, that's a trend in uh, this bag, and a little bit of nose wear, but other than that, he's in pretty good shape, and, uh, you know, I'll buy them for, you know, it was around, again, $5 marks all day, like that. This is a nice bubble wrap. Damn! Oh, shoot! Okay, yeah. It pops, it's loud. Moving on! Let's get some of this out of the way, so I don't, uh... Destroy it. That was one sale. Mostly just a bunch of guys I didn't have and a bit of parts dudes I needed. So, anyways, this is the big boy. This is the one you might have seen the picture of me uh, crushed beneath it. Um, I had to open this because I had to see 
how this box took up such a big amount. Now it doesn't use the whole thing, so I was like, okay, because I was getting ready for it and you probably already see it is the G.I. Joe base box. Now it's just a box, it's not base in there. I got the base already. Bought the box in claim sale, I bid 50 bucks on it. Thank God nobody bid against me. Nailed it for a 50. Um, you know, it's in pretty good condition. It's got some wear marks, of course. I mean, the sides are pretty banged up. What are you gonna do? Um, you know, 20, 30 year old, 30 year old boxes are always gonna look banged up. Um, I also got some other stuff in here, so I gotta kinda dig it out because I haven't even, I have not been into the bags yet, so I don't even really, really remember what was in them. They're just uh, reused bags from other deals he shoved in there. Um, this, I think this is all newspaper, I'm not sure. Either way, this gigantic box has been sitting, oh man, I think there's stuff in this box too. It's been sitting around downstairs for like a week or two now and I just had to get into it. I have a feeling that everything in this box is the stuff I ordered first and those add-ins are the things I, I was like, hey man, you know, before you ship, you got any of this stuff? Okay, yeah, we got, we got, we got more paper. Got paper up the ass in here. Oh, it's stuck in this tape. What the hell? Get that out of there. Oh yeah, this is pretty mangled. It's taped up decently enough though, holding on to her. Until it's a little smash there. Looks like it was uh, water, you know, got wet and it all stuck together. Oh God. Okay, we're going, we're going splunking. Get in there. Fuck, I can't see anything. All right, well, let's try and, uh... oh, well, what do we got there? I know what that is. This was just, in the other one, I'm gonna try not to smash it into a million pieces though. Let's get some of this paper out of here. Maybe I should have opened this beforehand. But then the experience wouldn't be real, but I don't have to go through all this paper nonsense. Oh yes, this is a really cool glider. I like this one. Would you stay open? Okay. First off, I'm trying, I'm trying to get some of this stuff out of here without breaking other stuff. God, the paper. Looks funny on that one. Okay, so anyways, we got a uh, collector's uh, display board here. This is awesome because as you know me, I like to display things once in a blue moon when I get enough space. So it's got the little, the little wall hooks up here so you can, you know, attach it up on the wall. And then it's got all the, the pegs here. So then you put the pegs on there and you can hang like 10, 10 of your favorite Joes on that. I love this thing. Got this for like 10, 15 bucks too. No complaints there. All right, here we go. Yes, another glider. This one I think looks wicked. Um, I love the, uh, you know, the snake type look to it. And uh, again, that is now my third one of these suckers. So I'm having fun collecting those. All right. All right, newspaper. I don't know if I should put some of this back in here when I put the box away or what. You know, just kind of hold it together a bit better. What else is in here? Is there more stuff in here? There's got to be something else in here. Oh, this is brutal, and I, I can't handle the box. All right, let's try and do this. Oh yeah, there's stuff falling out of here. Oh God. Okay, I think that's everything. No, there's still paper flying at me. Okay, let's just make a huge mess. Get out of there. Okay, there's, there's still paper in here. I think that's just paper though. But quickly, let's check out the back of this box. This is the real winner of this box, as far as I'm concerned. I think it looks awesome. I mean, you got the Mobat there. You know, you got the Dragonfly and the Vamp. Not to mention all the Joes sitting on top. I think it's a really cool box. It looks wicked to display. And um, I'm gonna have a good time displaying this bad boy. Now, the points aren't cut, which is nice. Really kind of rare. I remember, if I remember correctly, there was a consumer sticker on it somewhere. Do not know where it is right now, but I believe that was an Atlas Van Lines or no, it's United Van Lines. So that's this was shipped at one point. Um, you know, somebody moved and uh, they brought it along with. You got eight points for this bad boy. And then yes, it was originally bought at Consumer. So let's try and move that over there somehow. Dig through this monster pile of paper. See, there's stuff in here. Okay, okay, this is a. Uh, this is a G.I. Joe bath and uh, toothbrush set that uh, 
is taped really well together and I don't know how to open it. Well, either way, it is, uh, take my word for it, it is a bath set, uh, soap, and a uh, toothbrush. And there we go, if I can at least get the soap out. That is awesome, it's got a foot looser, or, or leather, leather neck, or leather head, leather neck, I don't remember, but on it, and uh, that's awesome. So I'm gonna kinda throw this stuff up there, and oh man, I'm gonna have to dig through this afterwards and try to find everything that just fell out, because this, this set here cost me around 200. I uh, had a bunch of extra stuff. What is with this tape? Um, if I had a bunch of extra stuff added in here. And I snagged a couple of pretty decent Joes. And uh, I'm gonna fight this tape here now. There we go. Okay. Maybe. No. Do I need to use two hands? Okay, you're gonna enjoy some newspaper for a second, guys. Sorry about that. I uh, should've came more prepared. I wasn't expecting all this tape. Stupid stuff. Okay. Whoa, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. Okay. He's even stuck to the bubble wrap. Release my Joe. Okay, so that was an effort. So as we could tell here, we got the uh, Python Patrol uh, Copperhead. Um, I have this guy that I bought from someone else, but he was missing the waist. So, I'm going to have to then check him out, because this one's got quite a bit of paint wear on his head, so mine I'm pretty sure is uh, pretty minty, so I'll probably just swap the head out, or uh, or the waist, whatever uh, looks better. And then, uh, the Python Patrol uh, Trooper, or whatever he is, uh, I was very stoked to get this one, because I did not have this guy at all here. I think he might have even finished my set, not 100% sure. And then uh, we got bits and pieces of the, um, you know, the... Uh, guard station or whatever the heck it's called checkpoint which i'm guessing is in here oh yeah here it is okay checkpoint alpha that's it um oh god i don't want all this to fall in there oh god it is okay it's not just that too in here it's uh looks like the mms is in here as well yep there she is uh i don't know why that thing took me so long to get uh it took me forever to get that thing i just didn't want to pay you know too much for it uh Good God, there, there has to be more, right? I didn't just buy two Joes. What? Maybe that was it. Checkpoint Alpha, the MMS, the two Python patrols, this. What's this? Oh, yeah, 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 that. Oh, the board. Yeah, hell, maybe this was it. Um, outside of my add-ons, again, there could be hidden treasure and all this. I got to go through it. But uh, let's try to get into the add-ons. I don't remember. I, I sent them... Graham, I sent him my list afterwards and I said, hey man, double check. Okay, you're eating paper again. Ah! Um, I sent him my list. And I said, uh, oh god, I hit buttons. It should be fine. Oh god, whatever. I'll ignore those buttons. So I sent him my list, as I was saying, and uh, said, what else you got? So he sent me a, uh, I think it's mostly complete snake. I mean, it might be missing one end piece. Uh, it's missing the, the skeleton or whatever that goes in it, of course. But uh, it's pretty complete snake, so I get to have fun with that. And then, let's see, I got some uh, missiles for the, uh, you know, the black Jeep. And that looks a bit empty. Throw that in there for now. Would you get off the screen, you things? Menu is cancel. Where's menu? Boom! Okay, there we go. And then, the last one, which just fell on the friggin' floor! Okay, now this one, I don't know if I already opened it or what, let's, let's use the teeth on this one. Okay, okay. Yep, I am over this. Alright, throw that in there. So this is uh, just a broken uh, C-Ray canopy. Um, I'm after one right now because I realized mine is broken. Now this one has at least half the tab, so it might work better for now than the one I have. Not sure, threw it in for free. Not gonna say no. And then I got the, I got the top side, as well as uh, the Super Trooper shield and helmet, which I'm stoked about, uh, just missing the gun, which I don't really mind not having because if you know me, I'm not too hard up for accessories uh i just really wanted to shield because i think it looks pretty badass so that's about it for this uh episode of uh gi joe pickups uh i'm gonna go through all this later and 
Make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, so hey, if you uh, saw something you liked, leave a like, leave a comment down below. If I traded with you, uh, yeah, leave a comment, jerks. And um, I'll see you in the next episode, which might be in a week or two. Peace.